Hey guys, this is Beganu and welcome to this episode of Dual Survival. Well, I'm just kidding. Dual Survival, yes, but in Castle Clash. So what I mean is, I'm going to plan. I'm going to go ahead and take my these two big guys, Dredric, which is a double evil dude, and my Vlad, Dracula, and try and survive in a bunch of game modes just the two of them and let's see if they can survive that particular onslaught so my aim is not to see whether they can beat different game modes and uh, i already have a bunch of videos which you can see where the drake has beat has uh, already cleared a solo insane dungeon and stuff like that but my today's fun video is about the survival of these two guys these two dudes who are both double evolved and let's see what what all go, game modes they can survive in or can they even survive so what i want to show you quickly is what do i have on each of these heroes before i take you on this uh, fun field journey so on my vila dracula right now he is a 10 star double evolve 10 of 10 skill 7 of 8 war guard so he's pretty strong by himself he doesn't need much boost he still hits about 130k every single time he spins and hits crest i have put a revive on him just to give him a dub a second chance although i'm inclined to go with uh, a, a life drain crest on him although because i don't have a second life drain crest i have used the first life drain crest on my dredrick so what i could do is probably take this life drain crest out from dredrick and put it on vlad okay that's what i'm gonna do actually and put a level three life drain on him oops so level 3 life drain on red rig and oh, I don't have the last one oh I do have this one oh that's awesome let me just go and forge this one real quick oh, sorry combine the life train and so I'll have a level 3 life train which I can put on my dread rig well that's what I thought actually I just have a single level 4 uh, I need one more level 4 that's ok we'll go back so the crest that I want to put on him is all level 3 and one level 2 so it will be effectively a level 2 dude and then I want to give level 4 life drain on VLAD because he usually tends to die much more faster than my dread rig so this is just to give them extra edge the artifact that I'm using on both of them is Goblet of Life just to increase their chances of survival. This video is all about dual survival in Castle Clash and not really winning any battles. But I'll test them in every single game mode. We'll go and do a bunch of mesas. We'll go and do um, Wretched Gorge. I'll try the Wretched Gorge 2 first to survive. Then if not, we'll try Wretched Gorge 1 which I'm pretty sure we should be. We'll try some, probably I'll put them in one of the insane dungeons and let's see if they can survive it. And then uh, maybe a couple of LRs, hero trials, who knows, let's see. Okay, we'll just begin the fun video. So let me take them right away and let's try some of the things that I feel they can survive. Team dungeon. Storm Mesa 1 should be fairly easy. I think Storm Mesa 2 will be a little bit of a challenge for them. So let's take them there. Or how about Storm Mesa 3? Can they survive Storm Mesa 3? I'm not after killing that boss. I'm just thinking from a survival perspective. Will they be able to survive the onslaught of that boss and all the other heroes in this game? So let's do it. I'm taking... Okay, let me just form my team real quick here edit setup i just want you and i want you save and the reason i put my dread rig ahead is because he's a better tank and probably he can tank much better than my dracula so let's see if they can survive dual survival episode one in castle clash storm is a three all right let's roll it so my my guess is that both of them would not die but uh, without pumpkin duke it's kind of impossible to do some mesa 3 because that boss has a ton of hit points 
it's it's just ridiculous amount of hit points on him so if you have like two players it's kind of impossible to do storm maze of three and right away if i dread break is making a difference is he started killing the whole from a distance you can see that some of the guys who i need to be wary of are those dragons those dragons breathe on my heroes they will make them weaker slower here comes the big boss and he is hitting dread drake thankfully he's hitting dread drake so let's take a look at it let me magnify right there and you would be able to see the amount of damage that my dread drake is getting getting is actually nothing it's just nothing they, he's not even putting a small dent on my heroes right now so i think so far this dual survival of these two dudes is going just fine in storm maze 3 but you know what i think even though it's going fine they will definitely not be able to put any damage on this boss so i'll give it a minute and we'll call it a win so maybe another minute or so and we'll just call it these two dudes can easily survive storm mesa 3 and i would say similar result would be there in storm mesa 4 because the boss is not necessarily more difficult than storm mesa 3 it's just there are more number of bosses and the heroes are a little better but i'm pretty sure these two guys can easily handle storm mesa 4 also easily survive storm mesa 4 just to correct myself because my aim in this video is not to beat each one of these things just to see can we really be alive at the end of this particular game mode so i'm gonna call it quits right there because i don't see him even putting a scratch on my dread drake or even vila dracula for that matter so i'm gonna go ahead stop it right there and the first episode was won by vila dracula and dread drake so they survived easily this game mode let's take them to a wretched gorge and this is where i think they'll really get tested so what i want to do is put just vila dracula and probably somewhere here right next to him my Tredric. so he's in one of these towers so let me just find out where he is real quick there he is so he comes out some other hero in there and let's go for it so there we go although what i want to do is actually keep them next to each other as much as possible instead of keeping them so far from each other that way one of them will not run away so i'm gonna put them next to each other and let's see this one so again i'm pretty sure that wretched gorge 2 is kind of impossible to win with just two players by themselves think of it guys it's insane but nevertheless my aim is to see whether these two guys can survive it and the team that i'm going to use it for this particular run is just three just two of them so let me start it up and we'll take a closer look at these guys so one of the things that i want to tell all the players who are trying wretched gorge 2 if you're not able to beat it try to use stun towers instead of your arrow towers because stun towers stop those small heroes from proc so pd never gets to proc because he's getting stunned continuously and your heroes can kill them by the time they proc so wretched gorge heroes are quite strong they are even though they look like 160 they are pretty strong look at those stun towers they're helping me quite a bit actually although without that damage it's tough to kill that thunder god and he might take out one of my tower <laughs> luckily he didn't so but look at that look at this huge bunch that is coming from this side luckily for me they're getting stunned by my towers and then red drake is helping a bit but they cannot survive too long i mean i cannot survive too long i think let's see let's see my base might just get killed before anything else before really any other thing my base is gonna get killed that's my fear actually that they'll kill my base at least those pumpkin dukes are almost dead oh come on kill that pumpkin duke okay so they're tanking these guys one base is still alive 
I just hope that they keep attacking these dudes and do not come towards my base. Come on, come on, come on, guys. You can do it. Just spin, 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 spin. The problem is that boss, when he stuns, I think it's going to hit my base as well. Okay, you now just one single guy, Dredrick, he's trying to tackle two demons. Sorry, one demon and two bosses. Just one guy, Dredrick. <laughs> and he's just one dude, one single guy, tanking. And my base is right there. Oh my god, this is kind of crazy. You know what he's doing? He's not just tanking those two bosses and one dragon, but he's also kind of protecting that last base and he's healing fine so far but he's about to die actually oh my god oh my god okay so he's filling up i want him to have one more hit where he fills up okay so he killed some of those i think killed one boss boy this is epic if this dread is able to get this one this is going to be epic just two guys oh, oh, oh he's almost dead he's almost dead oh he is dead you see this you see you saw that guys if my dreadrick would have had that life drain on him he could have saved that base and he could have killed these guys so that was pretty close uh, i wish i want to do it once again but i may not get lucky actually this time i was lucky they didn't hit my that single solo base <laughs> i can try once again what's there i can have that life drain shifted from my be like Dracula to my Dread Drake and I can try Wretched Gorge 2 again just to see if they can survive. Just for some quick lol. So I'm gonna take that crest out. This from him. Give him number four life drain. Uh, let's go with that again. And I'll give this number three to my Dracula. Okay, so let's let's do one more. What the hell? Let me try one more. Create, start it up, and the team that I want is just my two big guys. I'm going to try and keep it in the corner so that what happens is the both of them can actually start attacking from the front side as well as this side, and hopefully I wouldn't get any back spawns. I just hate back spawn. Oh, I just I spoke too quickly. Luckily for me that those stun towers are gonna help. They will come in handy. And my wheel is about to proc, so this is this shouldn't be a problem. This wave is gonna go down real quick. Although those dragons are nasty. What they do is they kill my stun towers, and when they kill my stun towers, my first line of defense are those stun towers. So I want them gone real quick. Gone. Do not kill my stun towers. Okay, so so far. The survival has been awesome. I'm not too worried about these two paladins that are coming, but those pumpkin dukes, yeah, they are a big worry. And my Vila Dracula needs to proc now, as in like right now, and kill those pumpkin dukes. And he sure did. Kill that Atlantic core because he will kill my pumpkin. He will kill my uh, Vila Dracula. Okay, okay, okay. That's looking. This is looking much better because my. Um, Dreadrick is tanking and they are not hitting my Vila Dracula. So if they are not hitting my Vila Dracula, the chances of him going down are really low. Now those stun towers are not definitely not going to help in that in this demons, this deflect demons case or even those bosses. But you know what is going to happen now? Dreadrick will be able to tank and my Vila Dracula is gonna kill those bosses quicker. So he's hitting like 70k, 80k damage. Look at that. Look at them go down. Just two heroes. Wretched Gorge 2. Almost down. Dual survival. I'm going to call this dual flourishing. <laughs> These guys are flourishing. They're not just surviving. They're thriving actually. Yeah, that's the word that I was looking for. The only question that I have is can they kill... All three of them in just in, in 55 seconds so I just have another 55 seconds to kill and okay only one boss is remaining hopefully yeah I'm pretty sure they should be able to kill him so 
there you go guys i just thought about it thought about survival and these guys are flourishing here they're easily doing it with 30 seconds to spare come on i got it in my back awesome so that was another survival done and dusted so what i want to try next is let's see if these two dudes can survive an onslaught of a before i go there actually let me take them to a dungeon expert dungeon 8 uh, or let me go to insane dungeon i know insane dungeons are going to be much more tougher and nevertheless it's for some lol so even if they get killed doesn't matter I'm still gonna try it out so episode 2 of uh, dual survival in castle clash so these two dudes the only thing they have in their kit are these four magics which i will use if they need to and uh, so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and drop my dread rake somewhere right there so he gets hit by those arrow towers but arrow towers cannot do much damage to him he already has a light drain on him so i'll try and see how much damage can he put on these here so and what i'll do is the moment he starts breaking in he starts going in more and more then i will drop my vila dracula right behind him so what vila dracula can do is he can basically just start killing those towers faster those heroes faster once he starts spinning he'll kill that champion so they're they're surviving but i don't know how long will that be possible so i'm gonna give him a shield both of them a shield quickly so that they have a chance to survive a little bit more so right now they are surviving but I, how long is actually a question in picture my Vila Dracula is doing some damage but you know what happened they were doing just good but that warlock procced and the warlock you know how, how crazy those warlocks are they can kill your heroes just in a minute so what I'm going to do is try and try to do a similar thing again probably I won't protect them until the last very moment when that warlock procs let's try one more time same dungeon uh, let me take all the magics uh, one more so you saw that they pretty much okay while we are here we can also do a dual survival in a raid which is just a piece of cake i actually do all of my guild war just by dread drake i don't have to use any other hero so it's just fun playing this game because i like that challenge of my thought process or my suggestion to any new players is like invest your time in one particular hero and make him like max out him and then you will have the best game experience because then you'll start beating everything so this insane dungeon let me look at that insane dungeon instead of the last one ah, that's fine it's pretty much same so let me just go and do the final one again this time I'm gonna come a little bit more pretty sure I cannot come from this side because if I do these guys will start attacking me immediately and I won't have enough damage to kill all of them or will I have that much damage let's see Let's see if my Vlad spins and kills pretty much all of these heroes in one spin. Can he? Can he do that? No, he cannot. He could have if I had that protection. And okay, let me try this again. Okay, I think it is possible. It's just a thought. But it's the thought that counts. So I'm gonna try and do one thing just to give these guys an outside chance of doing this insane dungeon one last stage solo i'm gonna attack from here with my true trick i'll let those guys come in now protect them and now stun them so keep all of those guys stunned as it kill that warlock guys kill that warlock okay the warlock is dead but i think my dread Drake is dead too <laughs> my dread drake is dead and i think he's gonna get killed real quickly 
right there he's gonna get killed how did my dread rig die anyways guys so that was dual survival for these guys in dungeon i don't think they can survive so easily in that insane dungeon and uh, to just give them one more real chance i'm gonna try the same strategy once again and then i'll give it up so let me try again dropping my dread rig right there and he starts destroying the dungeon from a distance i don't want to give him any more boost at this point i'll let him use those walls to kill this dungeon i'll let him use those walls what i want to do though is instead of killing just those heroes i want him to kill these towers because once vlad comes into picture he's gonna basically start destroying those the vlad will get stunned too much with these towers and he he wouldn't be able to perform as well. so now he's in my dread break is in but the problem is he needs to spin he needs to spin and he needs to spin now he needs to spin now no 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 okay so what I'm going to do is come on guys you can do it you can take it Vlad, I want one spin from you. One spin, dude. One spin. Yeah, take away those towers. Hey, perfect. Now I'm going to put... See what the problem is? Vlad is still getting stunned. Come on, you got to prop, Vlad. Do something about it. Alright, so almost there. Now that... Perfect almost 50 percent anyways guys anyways so what happens is that warlock i need to shut him down <laughs> and shut that warlock down anyways i'm not gonna go ahead more but that was just fun and we saw what these two guys can do can they survive insane dungeon the answer is no they cannot they might be but with some good amount of effort and some more gameplay basically so now i'm gonna take them on a different side here will be monsters let's say a Q I think a Q is survivable at least they won't die I think so I want to give them some support like some kind of a well what the hell I'm just gonna let them be and try and kill this Q wave we'll just watch the fun let's see I know R is really difficult but feel that Q might be possible Q is quite killable unless that war this thunder god keeps blocking him then he keeps blocking come on kill those guys I don't want you to destroy my base okay red Rick is doing a good job there actually but he needs to start saving base as well so Q so far so good not too bad not too bad not too bad Red, uh, V light is going to take care of this wave real quick for me actually but you know one bad thing that Dredrick is doing he is not allowing my Dredrick to fill in and that's creating a problem that is creating a problem oh my god they decided to clean up this side and thunder god is right at the he will destroy a few of my things on my list oh look at that one proc from thunder god and hey good job good job Vlad. go 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 spin spin dude spin all right so i think he'll spin and he'll kill that whole base every single one of them my vlad is pretty strong actually a 10 star 10 of 10 skill so he does not need that the axe of strife he needs to heal so that's what what i give him as goblet life it's quite powerful actually this is all this wave is gone actually my we let prox and everyone is gonna just die real quick no one is gonna survive oh there is that look at that dude come on don't pro okay perfect now what i don't want is a back spawn because a back spawn is going to kill my base okay there is a back spawn and a 
base is about to kill my guys. Hopefully my VLAD procs when he does. Okay. And he's got a little bit of energy so he can go ahead there and kill at least one or two of those heroes. Before they can kill my whole base and he will kill them. Awesome. Okay. So that's Q4 down. So far they're surviving awesome. So these guys are good survivors. No doubt about that. Don't go by yourself. Come on, Red Rag. Don't go by yourself, man. Because you cannot kill all of them. And you cannot survive. Oh boy, oh boy. That Thunder God is wrecking havoc. Now my VLED alone cannot... I don't think that he can alone. Oh, that boss is... Oh, he's coming for my VLED. Boss will kill him. Come on, come on, Mr. Boss. Come on, don't kill me. VLED, you can do it. You can do it. You can take that revenge on your friend, Mr. Drake. You can take revenge on him. It's a tough one though with that stunning thing that that boss has. It's a tough one. v -Lad is going to have a tough time killing this boss. It's not a tough time killing him per se, but the tough time is when he gets stunned. He just keeps getting stunned and then he's not able to heal as much. So he's healing quite okay right now actually. I don't want to jinx him. Alright, so we are queued down. Dual survival. Well, these guys did it. Dredrick and my VLAN Dracula. Wave queue down. Okay, the next thing I want to test with these two guys is uh, can they survive a hero trial? Let's say a wave. I don't want to go a level 18 or anything nasty, just a level 40. And it also depends on who comes. So Pixies, ah, Pixie attacks from a distance. Oh, sorry. Pixie attacks from a distance. It, it might be a difficult thing to kill. Plus Pixie also has a, what do you say? I mean, she won't allow my VLAT to proc. Unless, yeah, he spins, unless he spins. The moment he spins, these guys are done, dusted. Pixie is no match for my VLAT when he spins. So yeah, he's going to spin right there and kill every single one of them. So Dredrick and Vila Dracula. Hero trial down. Awesome guys. So they're winning more than they are losing actually. And then, you know what, let's take them to what's remaining. Okay, let me play a bunch of arenas. So these guys are pretty high level, like they're in the top 300. So I'm going to try and just do it with VLAD and him. Okay, so they're coming from this side. Let me just stop it and try to put them right there. See what happens next. So I don't have many guys to play with. It's just these two guys and pretty sure they should be able to kill me unless my VLAD procs and he doesn't. If he would have procs, the story might have been different. Anyways, we'll try with some other base challenge him. Start it up. Okay, that's another set of heroes. Let's see. Whoa, that Santa Boom looks crazy. And he's pretty much going to bomb my guys. Come on, Dracula. You got a proc. Alright, so he proc'd finally. But his pumpkin duke was too powerful. So arena, uh, it's just a little tough to get arena with these two guys. Especially with this fire fire rewrite, uh, crazy kind of, and your pumpkin duke stacking and all those kind of things, it's it's tough. Okay, so arena is something that we cannot survive just by two heroes. I cannot test out lost battlefield with two heroes, but expedition, sure, expedition. I don't think there's any problem. I can just go ahead and kill all the bases just by these two guys although that would just take an amazing amount of time so I'm not gonna take that much I'll play one or two bases just to show you that these guys can take down any base dual survivals episode I think four or five these guys are thriving they're doing it easily easy easy okay so Dredrick and Vlad. 
one spin from VLAD, the whole base is gone. Here, VLAD does not care about any buildings or anything. He'll just cut through them. Okay, so you saw how easy it was. It's the same story. I don't even need VLAD for any. Just one red rig is enough to kill all the base. So I'm still gonna drop my VLAD. Just so I, because it's dual survival. So I gotta put in and see some damage. Look at those those walls right there. See what's gonna happen to them. Then he starts brocking. They just disappear basically. These heroes, nothing. The moment he spins, they're all dead. And that is with their base bonus. So it's pretty easy. So that's fine, guys. I'm not going to show you more of expedition because we all know. Let's go for a bunch of quick Lost Realm battles and then we'll call it a day. This season of Dual Survival will end. I just love that dual survival series. I'm just bringing it in this castle clash. These two guys have been the best for me. So let's let's take them to some tough opponents. Let's plus first play this paladin and then we'll play that crazy looking minotaur. Oh well, that's my by default team. So let me set up a different team to show you guys. This was not what I intended form team let me change them right there it set up i'm gonna put him and my dracula let's use them so let's kill this paladin and try and see if it's easy if it even makes sense to go and play that minotaur so use my dreadrick is doing a good job but so far the thing is i don't have a re a revitalize on my dreadrick on my Dracula and that's what probably that's the problem right now because he needs to proc quickly much more quicker than this okay so they were able to kill this team pretty easily nothing there they can survive easily can they survive the onslaught of this crazy looking minotaur so this one is level 40 guys I feel like they should be able to but those champions are great at stunning for a huge huge number of time that champion can literally stun him forever unless my VLAD stuns him first and he doesn't <laughs> although he spins and when VLAD spins you know what happens so they are surviving this punch pretty easily and this was not an easy team to survive just two of them took down all of that I want to see this but if it's a merchant oh it is a merchant I don't have enough gold with me so what I'll do is I'll just take, take this guy and this guy I'm inclined to buying this revitalize as well well that's fine I'll just buy it it's pretty much it what I can buy right now so let's take this another Dude, just take a peek if it's the same team we won't play them it's the same team I won't play this one how about this guy is it the same team this one looks nasty because there is a pumpkin duke involved and so let's attack it it's, it's, these are these guys are worthy opponents now I can test my skills against these guys that's what I mean let's see what happens okay the moment my VLAD starts spinning many of them go down and the moment he spins again if he gets a chance to spin they're all dead yeah and dredrick on the other hand just keeps stunning them so you saw that guys lost realm easy easy no problem these two guys can easily do it so we did pretty much everything the only thing that we found that these guys cannot tank is that insane dungeon just because i feel like i'm gonna let me get a little bit of cold actually uh, for that yeah, these guys have enough gold so what I want to do is just get a little bit gold and go and try and hit one more time that insane dungeon what I need to do is save my guys against that warlock and that warlock is the biggest challenge more than anyone else because that war warlock once he procs he kills any hero doesn't matter what double evolve triple evolve he's just got insane amount of attack especially that warlock so what I will do and I will try to do is try and attack that dungeon once again and protect these guys against that warlock 
how would I do it? I don't know right now. The we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Okay, not bad. Red Drake is attacking those stun towers. That's what I want. I want him to attack those stun towers and kill them. Because these three stun towers right there, they are my nemesis. They are going to actually come in picture and hurt me. So I want him to take care to hit those walls and kill those walls more than my red rig because then I can wait a little bit more, a little bit more long. Okay, so now look at those attacks. I just need to be ready. The moment that warlock procs, I want him to. Okay, so I stun them and I basically silence them. But that stun tower is, oh my god, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't I think that warlock is gonna kill us <laughs> I'm just waiting for my death look at that anyways guys we gave a bunch of tries and it's not easy to survive in an insane dungeon to be very honest but these guys gave their best hope you like this concept of dual survival please share your comments and please subscribe if you like it if you don't like it that's fine too you can just let me know so how I can improve have a good day guys Take care. Until later. Bye. I'm just thinking, did I miss any game mode where I can show them? I think we pretty much covered every single game mode. Hope you enjoy. Bye.